I know there's only 40 seconds left of the song, and I know I'm going to be talking over it. Ah, that's okay. Okay, rub the hands, warm up the microwave, because in three, two, one. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. It is the wonderful stream that I can hear myself in. Cool. Uh, it is the b and stream, and you're here at the b and stream. I gladly welcome you into my humble abode. Uh, my name is Vando, and today is the 6th of June 2022. That's right, this is the one day of the year that both the Americans and the Europeans will be happy that the day and the month are the same. Uh, that is great for people who, uh, I guess, have things on on that day, and then the moment you've got international audiences go, ah yes, tomorrow is 7 slash 6, and then all the Americans go, ah! What's going on there? Uh, but yeah, no, it's cold. It's still cold. I've got the heater on. I'm going to try my best to have a heater on without it hopefully picking up on the mic too hard. But we'll see how we go. Uh, and without further ado, why don't I just jump right into... Right into... Oh, hold on. Right into... There we go. Game music's a bit louder. Super Mario Galaxy 2. For the Nintendo Wii, in the last stream, uh, I've technically finished the game. We beat Bowser, a uh, bunch of other stars, and in this stream, this is going to be... What? You're back? I mean, uh, hey, you're back. I see you're ready for more. It's written all over your face. Onward then. There are still more power stars out there, Captain. Yeah, so this is going to be the cleanup stream. Uh, <laughs> there is uh, there's a bit more beyond the cleanup stream, but... Uh, yeah, so after beating the game... We can play as Luigi at any time, uh, and in fact, I'm going to do that this whole stream. This is going to be the Luigi stream, as opposed to the rest of the game. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is going to be the remaining 120 power star. well, the remaining 20. So, yeah, so there's a few galaxies left of World 6, I just kind of glanced over. I do not have any comets lingering around, but we've also got a World S. Now, World S, I... Yeah, I showed off at the end of the last stream, but I guess the game's going to introduce us again. Uh, and Blubber's going to go, Wow, can you believe it? This must be that strange legendary world we've been hearing rumors about. There are even more power stars around here. So let's go get him, Captain. It's interesting that there's 70 power stars required in order to beat uh, Bowser uh, in the last world. And uh, never mind, Bowser himself is one star, but then also all of these stars out there. So you can actually have to do a handful of the game. On top of that, you can see there's a 110 star barrier, there's a 100, you can guarantee there's more others on the way. Uh, but I'm gonna go back, we're gonna go comfy, and we're gonna finish off these remaining few galaxies. Particularly, I didn't even beat the other half of Battle Belt Galaxy. So, let's dive right in. Uh, but yeah, no, today is... it's another <laughs> wonderfully cold day in uh, Sydney, Australia land, but um... Uh... But the good news, and this is one, uh, if anyone uh, notices sunrise and sunset times um, in, you know, you've got the, the, the solstice. Uh, usually it's on like June 21 or 22. The solstice is the shortest day of the year, uh, with the shortest amount of time between... Come on. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Maybe I shouldn't have gone with Luigi if I'm not that confident playing this one. Uh, the solstice being the shortest day of the... the the, the year if you count from, you know, sunrise to sunset, but uh, the sunset actually, you know, stops, sorry, it's getting earlier and earlier, but at some point it stops, and that actually is going to be about this Friday, I think, somewhere around there, Thursday, Friday, sun, Saturday, I'm not too sure when exactly, um, but, uh, yeah, so after that, you know, you're gonna have some brighter evenings gradually over time like it's probably gonna get like a minute or two later after one week but eventually it speeds up um, to the bit where every day it's it's a minute later uh, and that's nice uh, obviously the sunrise is still getting later and that's why the solstice is later on we got this wonderful dramatic music already that's a dramatic music for dramatic Stream number six. Okay, this is... What's 
the that's the ideal way to take out these guys, because is there anything else on this planet? They're just casually chilling? I must have done this last week. Maybe just get him the top. Get him the block and then go quick. And on the other side, there you go. He's got the one up uh, behind him as well. Oh, I must have gone past here, because Hungry Luma somewhere. I remember the, the pumpkin planet as well, so... Maybe I was rocking the, the fire flower for too long. That's the last planet. There you go. The 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 lock on ground pound is so nice. I feel like it's a little bit better on Luigi's as well. I don't know. Maybe it's a. Uh... Oh. Maybe it's a. Uh... What's it? Suspicion? Not suspicion. What's the term? Placebo. You think it's better, and therefore it is better. Apparently, you know. Something like that. But yeah, no, this past week has been pretty alright. Nothing amazing, but nothing terrible. Uh, I will say I'm a little bit bummed because I've had things been breaking on me. I've had a, a washing machine break, I've had a... Um, my PC monitor, unfortunately, is getting a bit of a... Uh, like, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say, like, uh, just casual... Burning. It's not an LCD display, but it's um, it's a TN display. But it's like, oh man, it was kind of pricey at the time, and I wish it had gotten a bit more longevity. Considering I rock another monitor, and that monitor is even older, and it's been surviving fine. So, okay, so we're finally at the point of uh, no return. The bit where you've seen the rest of the galaxy, now you're gonna see the rest of this one. That's what, that's what I'm going for, so... So if you decided to keep going on and not pay the 20 coins, you got to deal with some Monty Moles. So these Monty Moles... They were both just chilling there. Uh, but you know, the entire rest of the galaxy is all these like little mini um, enemy attack sections. You've even got this bit. And you got to watch out because some of these guys are... A different polarity, I guess. You gotta rock the music though, if the polarity keeps changing on you. Oh, I wanted to, I wanted to get in there without needing the, the flip. There you go. Fortunately, my room gets very toasty, so I'm not gonna have this uh, heater on for too long. I'm basically cooking in here. Here we are, right at the end. We got these invincible chain chomps constantly bouncing off each other. Are these invincible ones? I, I think they're just silver chain chomps. Is that the the name? Not too many of them, but definitely good to take them out. And here we go, the last key for the first star of the stream. Oh, would you look at that? Lucky 101. Is 101 a lucky number for some people? I feel like it is. It's the first number that's above 100. So, there you go. And there we go. 101. A ghost has appeared. I've actually seen some of the ghosts after re-entering some of these levels. I think you literally have to be on some of the older stars. And speaking of older stars, here's a comet. Well, it's not an old star, but... Luigi, I have a letter for you! Speaking my mind. Race, race, showdown at Fleet Glide Galaxy. Oh yeah, we got to do another race. I'm doing the Comet first, man. Comet is the first, the first line of defense. Uh, oh boy. I'm trying to think like, man, am I gonna struggle for star bits or no, nah, I'll be all right. We've still got a bunch of stars left. Here we go. So here we are, the final level of the game, again? Just to do a speed run. I don't believe. I, I'm gonna hope the Bowser fight's not part of this, but it, it's uh, it's a lot of clocks. It was a decently length level as well, so there you go. But now we're in fun parts of early June. That means there's more things going on in the world. Uh, 
So uh, we're at that point in time where everyone's announcing their middle of the year things, you know, financial year uh, trickeries. Um, so I believe Apple's got a conference tomorrow where they'll probably announce um, an iPad. They, they usually like in those iPads. Oh. That's a that's a bit uh, dismissive of me, but I don't know, man. Like I've not been paying much attention to to Apple products, um, which is it's a shame because I think every time I keep mentioning, oh, you know, I don't really follow Apple products. I always mention uh, the Mac Mini, like the new one. That well, it's not that new anymore, but the one with the uh, M1 in it. And I'm like, man, you know, it's such a shame that uh, the Mac Mini is a uh, <laughs> kind of the only thing that I really like think is alright there. Even like the Mac Studio, I feel like eh, it's a bit overpriced and unfortunately it uh, doesn't scale as well as they want to. They can definitely chuck the cores in, but the power doesn't quite get to the get to the chip as well. What happened to the Bantai builds here? They just replaced them with Oxalings, probably because it involves waiting. It's not as hard without the bullet bills though, the Bansai bills. You gotta hear this music just as well. Such a great piece. Also, did you see that string of coins there? I'm curious. I'm really curious. Hold on, I, I'm actually really curious, because it's like, yeah, they, they put a clock up here just to be nice. But I'm like, hold on, did, did you see that? Like, right there. What? Hold on, I'm, I'm going to take a stab. This is going to be a silly stab, but... It's, it's they, it, I don't have a ton of time, and, uh... Oh, that'd be a really curious, like, skip if you can manage to get that to work, though. I, I guess it'll just put you out, like, over here, though. So, you're not saving a ton, but... Saving a little bit. Look at that, I didn't ground pound it this time. go. Just the huge. Oh. There we go. Up and out. Out we go. And I guess since it's a speed run, if I was to die here, they've got the checkpoint flags, but like if you die at any point, are you forever done? I feel like if you've got clouds, you might be able to wing like the first jump. Crazy enough to go for the one up in the in the speed run though. Also, I guess this music with the Yoshi drums going. It's great. It's good fun. Oh, they did not put any any clocks here. Maybe I should have. Maybe I shouldn't have been using all that time. Oh, that's getting that's getting a bit close, isn't it? All right, come on, moving platform. Get there in good time. Dude, this piece is actually really good with the drums just coming in. I don't think this the song's on any other stars with the um, Yoshi as well. I wonder as well if they've got like whoa, if they've got a uh, drum versions on every track, or is it just like specifically the ones with the uh, Yoshi's on them? Uh, no blog? No blog. Oh, there he is. I cannot see. There you go. <laughs> cool, thanks, Ken. Alright, should be no sweat as long as I don't just walk off forward. Should be alright. Should be alright. There we go. Easy money. Easy money. Would you look at that? Another star. Will we see Yoshi again? Maybe. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, but yeah, no, Apple's got a thing. Um, E3 usually is in the second weekend of the month, but because E3 is cancelled, uh, supposedly just for this year, but... Oh, really? Now i got to do this one's galaxy? I forgot if it was a speedrun or a daredevil. And I really hope it's uh, not the daredevil, but I, I, I know there's, a, there's another similar galaxy later on. And uh, I remember that actually being like the most painful one. I think this one's the speedrun. I gotta do both in this stream, so... It, oh, this is the Daredevil! Oh. Okay, well, it's the it's the whole Shaboodle, this time with one hit. I think... Like, okay, if I, if I give this game a pass for... Uh, for, you know, like, oh, you know, the comments aren't necessarily the same thing over and over again. Yeah, when it's, uh, when it's just Daredevil again, it's like, yeah, okay. Interesting that, um, enemies start, like, stop giving you coins in the Daredevil run. Like, it's not really, you know, a huge reason why you take one hit. There we go. But yeah, like, no coins. Maybe it's so you don't pay off the Hungry Luma. So is this the third time you've seen this star? Oh, wait. This was the second last star I did as well, of uh, last stream. And then it became the first star, and now it's the third star. That's the joy of doing these all back to back. See, this this is what I want. I want, I want this so I can take out the crab easy. Whoa. I had to jump it. Oh, come on. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. It comes back. It goes around, comes around. All's well that ends well. So there are two. Two, uh. Whoa, that lock on. Okay, you gotta watch out for the little fire they leave behind. Especially when they're in the middle of it. That's not good fun. There we go. Speed him up normally instead of having to do the ground pound. Commit to the three hits. Uh, but yeah. Uh, interestingly, I think there was some Sony State of Play recently. I don't know a thing off the top of my head about it, apart from uh, the Spider-Man game, the Insomniac Spider-Man game uh, that came out for the PS4. When was that? 2019, I think? No, 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 no. It was 2018. Because uh, when the PS5 came out, they had the Miles Morales expansion and the enhanced version with ray tracing. Wow! Um, and that was a big selling point of the PS5. Um, and Demon Souls, I think that was it. Um, and uh, then, uh, yeah, no, but the PS5 enhanced version of Spider-Man is now coming to Steam and Epic Games Store uh, sometime in August, like pretty soon. Um, uh, yeah, I, which is an interesting trend of, like, PCs, or rather, I say PC, PC is a weird term, because it's like, when, who coined the term PC, and why is it the term that gets to be slapped on boxes? Uh, maybe you can't say Windows on boxes sometimes, so you just have to say PC, even though it has to be Windows, because, you know, that's, that's the OS you've written your game to support. Um... But uh, it's, it is interesting that just computers, home computers, PCs, are somehow like just becoming more and more the de facto system. There's just a lot of games that, you know, the PC version is having um, a good amount of love on. I gotta be very careful with these guys, I swear. I'm gonna accidentally walk into like that one. There you go. Uh, I forgot how many... Hold on, I, I actually want to take a stab at getting in the fight from the upside down. There we go. There we go, too good. Too good. I forgot how many uh, galaxies are yet, but... Yeah, no, it's it's strange. Oh, just one. Galaxies? Planets, that was it. Alright, four of these guys. I gotta make sure I'm a little careful. Boom! Oh, 
There you go. All good. All good in the hood. Uh, but, yeah, like, um... And Sony's been doing it for a while. They've had God of War, they've had Horizon Zero Dawn, they've had, um, Uncharted's coming. Um, and, uh, there's one other one that's a Sony one. Days Gone? I don't think people remember that game very much. Uh, but still, Sony's been putting a bunch of games on PC, all of which Horizon Zero Dawn's had a little bit of a shaky port, but, uh, I think God of War, like, people go, it's like, it's such a gold standard and in our PC ports, just because it's like, well, it enhances the PS4 version, which is amazing. And then it also just runs like a dream, and it's got a bunch of settings under it. Uh, there you go, no more... No more, uh, comments. Let's, uh, point out, and, uh, I guess it was in here, wasn't it? Yep. Maybe I should have kept going right. Or left. There we go. To the fleet glide! Uh, but then also, I guess Microsoft's been doing it for a while, like sometime very early on in the Xbox One generation, they just decided, hey, let's just port our games to PC. I think one of the earlier ones I can think of was Gears of War 4, I want to say. Um, Forza Motorsport 6, I think was another one, it's, uh, and then Halo of the Master Chief Collection, uh, like a year later. Race, race, all right, it's on. I'm the best there is. Just try me. I never lose a race. Oh, okay. He, he, I mean, he lost the last one, but sure. I like the blog in the corner. He's peering out. He's going to pop out immediately. Here we go. Oh. I don't remember there being this many blogs. I don't think I'm going to hit enough walls to need that life shroom, and if I do, then whoops. Oh, go left. Oh. <laughs> um. Yeah. Oh, bit of a hit. Bit of a hit. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could go straight forward. I'm too used to going left because of the um, the the arches. It's weird. I must have played this level a lot, like when I was younger. I say when I was younger because I started doing let's playing before I, this game came out. So. Yeah. Oh, I guess you like to loop the whole way around, don't you? Lots of things to, to defend against. Oh. Oh. Cool. Alright. Alright, uh... Let's see if I can mad dash all the way through. Because he's chilling there, he's got the lead right now. Maybe you can shoot a star bit at him. Perfect angle, dodge the bits. Oh, gate's closing on me. Ah. There we go. And first place, away we go. There you go. I beat the last record by eight cents a second. Wonderful. Wonderful. I used to always refer to it as milliseconds, even if it was only a hundredth. But nope, it's cents a seconds. You gotta you gotta remember that. But yeah, um, I think Nintendo is probably going to be one of the last guys to uh, put their stuff on PC, and granted, yeah, no, they're still never doing it. It's strange, because, like, because I don't think Sony is necessarily going to chuck their old stuff on just yet. Like, they're not going to do full PS1 emulation. Um, Microsoft are cutting it a bit close, because they've got the cloud streaming on um, the Xbox Game Pass, which if you've got the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, I believe you can use it on PC. Um, Sony's cloud streaming isn't even available in Australia, so it's a bit of a moot point for us. Didn't they introduce another service as well? Also, wow. Every every galaxy is clear. Every one that I've started, so we need to get this hungry Luma fed. Uh, but... Looks like... Ah, uh, it's the same line of dialogue as before. 1800, wasn't it? Do I have enough? I don't think I have enough. You can share them with other save files if you want to be like that. Oh! Look at this. <laughs> Ooh, I've got six more. I have six more. Rip the rip the bank toad. 
There you go, feed him up. That is a lot of star bits as well, because how many did the largest one in the first game require? I guess also 1800, wasn't he? The music is so high pitched, and there's going to be one more at the end of the stream as well. Oh. Yeah, at least we get two galaxies down here, and not just the one that is right after the Hungry Luma. I think I remember this one being really good fun as well. I mean, they're all really good fun. But, uh, Flash Black Galaxy. There we go. Jumping around in the dark. Let's turn off the heater. No more heat. It is now incredibly cold. Uh, so this one is like the, uh, you know, you can tell what music you're about to hear. But it's, uh, it's a bit of a terrifying concept because, uh, it's completely dark. You've got no clue where anything is. Which is why I'm playing as Luigi. Nothing's better than slipping around. I need to get a Yoshi. Else moving up in the world. Uh, yeah, I, I, I do wonder if there is going to be a point in time that Nintendo does uh, you know, release things on PC. Phones was such a compromise for them. Um, not as in like a, like a, oh, you know. What, what's the term? I, I was talking about like fanboys yes, uh, last week and I feel like, yeah, there's a certain degree of, you know, some people give Nintendo a pass because it's just like, well, I mean, you're a business, you can do whatever you want technically. Um, but I think there's also like a degree of, um, you know, oh, it'd be really nice if Nintendo or really any company did, you know, X thing. Interesting that the, uh, oh! What a, what a, what a mean spot for, for this. There we go. And out we go. Okay, right, hey, it's just a quick hop, skip, and a jump all the way to the end. With Silver Stars, because why not? Isn't it weird? There was like a glow at the end of the level, but the Silver Stars. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Do not need you, bird. There we go. Let's get over here. That's a gutsy jump. There's a couple of birds on me. A couple of birds. Uh yeah. Yeah. Uh still though. A, a lot a lot of companies are releasing their stuff on PC now. Um I'd imagine Sony's still got, you know. They want to push the console as the exclusive, so it ends up being a bit of a timed exclusive for most of their titles. Um, and obviously the easiest way to guarantee a timed exclusive is just to never mention that you're doing a timed exclusive. You just release the game on your console, and then at some later point in time you go, ah, okay, now it's coming out on PC. Um, also Final Fantasy VII Remake, that was, that's another one. Um, I know technically you know, it's Square Enix, but it's still, it's just like, that's another game that, yeah, like, you know. I, <laughs> In the last console generation, it probably would have been a, a PlayStation 4 exclusive. But, I don't know, now it's just you know, on PC, to some degree. Um, I guess the nice thing about games coming out on PC is they're forever supported, technically. As long as Windows does not break everything, which it almost gets to doing. There's a lot of older games that just, you know, you need... You know, well, there's, there's the DOSBox category of games, but there's also the ones that like require DG Voodoo. There's a lot that require custom patches. Um, there's a lot of weird games like that um, still floating around, and, and people actively sell them in these kind of not as ready states. A deep shell well. That's right, star number 106, and there's different music. This one's a great track. And yes, you may be curious. There's a pipe up here. I love the way this water is uh, flowing as well because uh, I, I, I don't remember whose video I saw but like he was going on about like technical like ways that this game works because it's like you've got a bit of you know uh, displacement going on uh, with here. It's a pretty simple effect though. This is just like a looping texture that's transparent. It's not even like real water. It's just a floating, a floating texture. You go down here, you get your lucky dip of three shells. 
Well, that one wasn't it. Uh, that one was it. And I'm going with lucky keypad number three, except it's numpad number nine. So maybe there are three lives floating around there. Maybe there's more. Everyone hates bats. But this level's neat. This level's got a lot of, like, neat bits to it. You get to slide down a slope. It's kind of cool. It's another swimming level. How many swimming levels have there actually been in this game so far? Like, there's been a few bit of, like, swimming moments. I also love this. Like, I never even knew this about the first game when I played it. And then this game was just like, oh, you can, you can spin and the shell will come to you. I was like, what? But it's all about the deep sea, the deep sea diving experience. They pop. That's a wonderful sound effect. And would you look at this? Just hiding over here. It's, it's really not that hidden, but sure. Um, yeah, I, uh, I do, I do wonder how, like, I mean, also as well, like, we've got all these consoles out there, and yeah, there's a handful of consoles that can't be emulated, but there's also a lot that, like, we've come so darn close to emulating, like, every game perfect on, on them. There's a, there's a handful of consoles, like, I think the Game Boy Color still has a, a few weird ones. Um, should I have picked up another shell? We got one more shell. I love this bit right here. Where it's like... It's a... It's a and out you go. To the next bit of floating, like, just space. It's a weird... I don't know, like a... Oh, <laughs> camera's being pushed by something. Down you go. I don't know, it's, a, it's very abstract this level. And I think there's a, there's a lot of abstracts in this game. I keep mentioning people, people commenting about the level design compared to the first game, but... I don't know, I kind of like some of these more abstract levels, even if, like, what does any of this level actually mean? Why are there these rings floating around, there's booms everywhere, and... But it's just like, you know, it's, it's good fun. You get to fly forward. You get to turbo boost. Shells everywhere. Watch out for the spiky boy. Okay, I did not watch out for the spiky boys. Let's just swim up normally. And what's the prize for getting to the end of here? Why, none other than... A wonderful horizon. With a chest at the end. Which makes me cry because... Oh, oh it's like, where's the... Where's the shell? We even get a wonderful waterfall over here that, like, most people wouldn't... Well, I guess there's a shell over there. They're gonna make that part fancy. Lots of flowers. You know what's good fun as well? Like, the texture is obviously flat around a lot of the parts, but the bits where there's grass actually sticking out, you never get that, like, weird kind of, like, grass popping that's so prevalent in so many other games. Um... <gasps> oh, thank you! Ah, Luigi! I, uh, was taking a quick nap and, uh... Oh, who am I kidding? I grabbed the star, but I fell and got trapped inside that chest. It was so stuffy in there. Thank you for saving me. Why don't you take the star? Just please don't tell the other toads about this. And here he goes. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, like that grass popping. It's, if you're really looking out for it, you'll see it in a lot of game trailers, which is a wonderful segue into Sonic Frontiers. Uh, did anyone see that trailer? Uh, there's a few memes I've seen of people going, on about uh, Sonic's momentum as he grinds up a rail, like he jumps on the rail very slowly, um, and then he just manages to continue sliding uphill, up the rail, um, for a good solid like 10, 12 seconds. It's fairly horrendous when you look at it, you're like, oh my gosh, what is going on there? Look at that, it's a comet! A prankster comet has appeared. It's gonna be fun doing the last few prankster comets. Also, we do have a lot of for you! It's the chip that's a new game over in Slimy Spring Galaxy. Ah, okay. AKA the galaxy I just did. <laughs> Listen, I gotta do those bonus stars somehow. So. That does mean World S is a little bit of a quicker one as well. Like, yeah, we're still, still dealing with World 6 for the moment, but that's okay. I got a whole stream to worry about it. 
Dark Octo Army Romp. Look at all these dudes. All in unison as well. Or at least synchronization. No, it's unison. You have a time limit on this one? Oh, you do have a time limit. Oh boy. I was gonna say before I had Luigi, so that just makes this even worse. But you know what? It's a nice play on the idea. It's a it's a comet that deserves to exist. Because it's something different. It's not just the same, you know, modifier on the existing level. It's taking an existing area and providing its own unique twist. Oop. There we go. How many seconds do I have? 80? Maybe I should be jumping on some of these. I don't know if jumping is any quicker. Well, oh. There we go. As long as you don't have to get the star as part of it, but... Yeah, no, the Sonic Frontiers trailer, I'd highly recommend, if you haven't seen it, give it a look, purely to go, ah, ooh, ooh. Because it's, it's a little shocking. I think there's a lot of, um, a lot of, like, what I'm having gripes about with looking at the trailer is one going, Man, I can't believe Sonic the Hedgehog is still a big franchise. Like, you think Sonic... I'm still I'm still a guy who, you know, is going to decry Sonic Adventure, but I think Sonic Adventure 2 is a, fi a fine game. I don't mind Sonic Adventure 2 as much. Um, then it's like, you got, you got Sonic 06, Sonic Unleashed, uh, Sonic and the Black Knight, uh, Lost World, Forces, there's a bunch of mainline Sonic games that are all so sub-average at, at best. And then obviously like Sonic 06 is like, man, it's, it's nigh unfinished. And Sonic Forces is, you know, it's, it's a purely average game. There's like barely anything to write home about. The Chimp's Coin Challenge, dude, the Chimp is so cool. He has his own star this time. Like, it's not just, oh, it's a secret star somewhere, you gotta find the chimp. It's like, nah, the chimp is right here to tell you the moment you attempt to walk forward, you're finally here. And he goes, say hey, you're doing okay out there, but it takes more than a few lucky jumps to impress the chimp. Think you can get 10,000 or more in this game? If you can, maybe I got a star for you. Or maybe I don't. So you game or what? What a legend. You're going for 10,000 points? Good luck. You're gonna need it, pal. Oh, and away you go. How do you get 10,000 points? Well, it involves defeating enemies and picking up coins. But again, it's like, you know what? That's a nice twist on the the previous iteration of the level. Having a time, a time challenge, picking up coins, picking up points. It's good fun. A lot more coins makes uh, more sense in this level, though. And also a lot more of these guys. Uh, oh, I tried my best. I guess you can you can keep going around if you want. There's not too much stopping you from just swinging across and getting all of them. Oh, that's just gonna be fun to get some coins, isn't it? Scattered coins, who would get those? Uh Alright, let's let's go back for the shower because it's gonna eat up some of my time. There we go. Oh, oh you could just charge through it? Maybe I should have been charging through it. Someone's gonna tell me off for that one. Alright, off we go. Other side of level. I remember there being more coins down there last time. It's probably the prime coin level if you need to grind coins for some reason. Ah, oh, lots of boots as well. Which I am definitely getting all of them.
grab a coin. Here we go. Uh, yeah, so the Sonic Frontier trailer, what else is there? Um, he's climbing. He's climbing really slowly. It, it's painful. How much of the Sonic <laughs> franchise right now is copying other people in obviously not as good a way? Like, Sonic Lost World is obviously, let's make a Mario Galaxy, you know, Sonic game. And it's just like, there's none of the creativity that came with the galaxy concept in Sonic Lost World. It's like, yeah, there's a bunch of planets, but like, what's the world reason? It's like, oh, they're just a bunch of different worlds, I guess? There's nothing really too fancy about that. I wonder what's at the end here. Ah, oh, a few more coins just flying around. Ah, well, last coin. Wonderful! That's 11,650 points. You are my greatest rival when it comes to gaming. I'm a huge gamer most of the time. There you go. Wonderful stuff. Will we ever see the chimp again? Maybe not. <laughs> You're pretty good. If you racked up 11,650 points, come back if you want to crack the high score. Thank you, the chimp. I shall miss you. So I think that's it for World 6. So that just means bonus levels away. And oh boy, the bonus levels. Oh boy. If you think some of the games start again, you know, looking a bit tricky at the end, oh boy. There's 12 stars and a uh, whole swing of hopes and dreams for me to absolutely ruin very shortly. But Mailtoad's still gonna keep pestering me for a while. Letter dress to the baby boomers arrived. Be strong and know that wherever you are right now, I believe we will be reunited soon. I hope the attached item is helpful. May the stars shine down on you. Wow, there were 50 star bits. I would need 50 star bits. I need as many star bits as I can. Because, uh, we're going to spot in a moment how many you need for that hungry luma. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's a crown on every galaxy, every world. Up until the ones I haven't done. And yeah, how many? 2,000. I need 2,000 by the end of this. Listen, there's no shame in grinding a few star bits here and there. We got the Mario Squared Galaxy. This is, this is also, I think some people note, it's like, oh, you know, there's so many galaxies in the game up to this, and then it's like, hang on, this was in the first game. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, it was. Make Mario a star. So you get a lot of these, like, simpler galaxies here as well. Star will be here. It's your goal. To basically pick up a lot of star bits and then you got these question mark blocks, you gotta get the question mark blocks while also picking up this comet medal and also not ruining your path to get back. Which is an interesting challenge. Uh, this is gonna be done something a bit interesting. Also, I guess interesting, you get the complete free camera. Usually it's a bit locked against you, but not today. It's probably a bit easier as Luigi as well, because you get to walk around, so. Uh, but yeah, Sonic Frontiers is basically, let's rip off our missing one. Where, where am I missing one? Oh, I... I don't know why I was like, yeah, no, I'm fine, and then I casually slide back down. That one's on me. That one's entirely on me. Oh, I must have missed, I missed the hand here. There's a hand, though. I missed it. Kind of musical mode is that one. There we go, so. But yeah, Sonic Frontiers is let's rip off Breath of the Wild, except rip off, like, I, I use it loosely because it's like, you can obviously be inspired by another game, but it's... It's pretty clear what they're being inspired by. They've got the piano focus soundtrack, they've got the wide grassy fields. Uh, people obviously joke, it's like, it's like if uh, Sega hired this guy, actually hired the, that guy, which, yeah, <laughs> maybe. Um, a lot of the level design, like, it was, it felt um, a, like a dev test, if that makes sense. Like, they were walking around without really any, like, clear aim. They were exposing some walls, but like, I don't know, it didn't, there wasn't really any like hard goal, or really, you know, obstacles in the way. Because Sonic's a weird one, 
obstacles being translated into 3D in Sonic just rarely works. Really all you can do is maybe like have Sonic running forward and then things come at him where he can dodge left and right or jump up and down. Uh, which, I mean, yeah, they've used a few times now. They've, they've done that a bit. But when Sonic gets to move freely in 3D, it doesn't really, it doesn't work out quite the best. I don't think there's, like, uh, and I'm gonna note this original Sonic Adventure just as an example, and I know that game is nearly 25 years old, it's like, yeah, okay, it's, it's, people say it's early 3D, but it's like, nah, man, it's, it's like, bang on, like, right when 3D was getting very, like, well done. I mean, 3D keeps going, but it's like, yeah, people figured it out after a while. I'm gonna get these comments every single time I do these levels as well. And you can you can tell what the pattern is it's gonna be. There's six galaxies, one star, one comet. So let's get that comet out of the way. Here we go, Luigi Power. Luigi Power? Wow, that's a prankster comet, who would have known? Luigi's Purple Coin Chaos. Purple coins. So, <laughs> we flipped the galaxy on its head. Instead of lava, there's now insta-death poop. At least the colored blocks are not colored this time, or they're just there. We still got the shrinking ones. And you gotta pick up every coin. You remember in the first game, there was one where you had to pick up like 150? Just give yourself the shadow cosmic Mars as well. Oh boy. This one's gonna be fun, this one is gonna be an absolute doozy. I think I'm gonna come back, uh... The other way. Oh! And, and I'm down, I'm down, I'm out! <laughs> I've gone. Oh boy. Maybe this is where the game overs are gonna appear. I feel it because I got ten... Ten, uh... Ten lives. I can speak. I can figure out English. As the trick is not taking your, your time too much. Just going as you go. At least I got the L still there. That's cool. Uh, yeah, what else? What else? Um, yeah, so the reason why I, I segued from here to the, uh, you know, from the, the grass rendering is, oh my goodness, like, it, it looks so much like a tech demo because the grass rendering, it's like, it's got that horrendous poppin'. And it's not just the grass, it's like there's so many other objects in the scene where it's just like they don't appear until, you know, they're so close to it. They, do they really have to put a time limit on this? It's like, it's cosmic clones, there's so much trying to, you know, get me right now. Oh, the worst part is I gotta do this. Getting flashbacks from getting that wrong. I feel like hitting the, the closest uh, Shadow Clone is a... Uh, Cosmic Clone, rather, is a... Uh... Yep. I knew the moment I missed that one, I'm like, yeah, nah. Maybe I should go for it first. I'll go for it first. And then come back for the other ones later. Boy, that's a... Oh, I guess I'm supposed to be doing a long jump from here, shouldn't I? Oh! Oh, that, nope, back in the poop. Back in the poop I go. They're gonna give me the bronze star in a moment. They're gonna give me the tease. Maybe not, because it's a comet. Maybe they don't do it for comets. Hey, so, but yeah, like, some of the pop-in, it's like, okay, like, not, not understandable because it's like, well, I mean, especially for your seven minute gameplay demo, really, like, you know, try and make it pristine, try and get rid of all the flaky bits, like, your demo should look better than the finished product, ideally. Maybe, maybe you can, you can iron it out, but it's like, eh, you know, I, like, I don't expect the, um, you know, the finished product has more bells and whistles to it, so... 
either it's a very fancy visual thing that you've managed to add in, or it's like, eh, you've got more mechanics and understandably runs worse than it used to. That's okay, that's expected. But it's like, oh boy, like when when Sonic ground pounds, I shouldn't see rocks phase in two frames after he lands. That like that shouldn't happen. Those rocks should have been there already. I shouldn't see giant platforms appearing in space, like in front of him. And then obviously the level design question of there's these giant rails just like floating around. It's it's like Line Rider. It's just the these massive things that just look so hideous and like they could obviously not be rendering them that far away but they do all those cosmic clones how many cosmic clones are there there weren't that many oh well oh that's try. <laughs> no issues on that one uh oh boy that's 10 of the stars already Jeez, only, only ten more to go until the <laughs> end of the game. Yep. Yes, sorry. Alright, now with 75 stars under my belt. Past the gate that requires 75 stars. Oh boy. Yeah, it keeps going right a little bit, don't worry. The rolling coaster galaxy. Way I go. Yeah, no, it's it, it's just a horrendous trailer, um, which makes me wonder. Oh boy, how is the game gonna be when it comes out? But it's yeah, it's weird. It's like sometimes I kind of want to be lied to in a trailer now. Um, they don't need a billboard to explain how this thing works now. Go go go! Slow slow slow. I think I remember farming Sabbats on this level. Just because you can very easily, like, start from the beginning. But you're pointing at the screen, so I don't know. I don't know what I was on. Oh. Expert, stay right. I'm an expert, let's do it. There's a lot more coins down the left from the looks, though. Oh, but you gotta do it for the Comet Medal. Oh, it wasn't that expert, it was pretty straightforward. I'm pointing at the screen. They could have used like a Rainbow Road music. This is this is the closest you're gonna get to a Rainbow Road in a Mario platformer. Oh, and away we go really fast. Maybe you do this for the coins. Because if you can manage to, to do it, it's like, yeah, you have lots of coins. Whoa. And away he goes, into the hole. Honestly, like, it's a fun little galaxy, I don't find it that hard. It's it's really not that hard. It's pretty straightforward, it's got a lot of, like, bits to it that you, you know, you can catch yourself on. It's only a handful of the bombs, really. I didn't, I barely even described it, it just kind of happened while I was saying Sonic Frontiers. I don't have too much to say about Sonic Frontiers, other than... Has every Sonic game for the past 15 years looked the same? Like, since Sonic Unleashed, the actual, like, main gameplay has looked the same the entire time. I don't know, there's really, like, not much Sonic does that he didn't do back then. Very odd. Maybe it's because they've just been iterating on the same engine over and over again. But it's also weird, because, like, Sonic Forces came out in 2017. They've not done a... And before that, they had Sonic uh, Lost World in 2013? And Generations is 2011. It's like, man, you know, like, these titles don't come out too frequently. Like, if it was an annual franchise, you know, sure, okay. It makes sense that the games look a little bit the same between year to year, but it's like, man, yeah, it's been five years since the last one. Now, granted, we're probably going to make that same comment about Breath of the Wild 2. Look at this fancy thing. They put one coin in the in the bit here. Purple ball. Collect 100 coins. And you know exactly. And there's only 110, so they're, they're a bit picky. 
coin you do it, I would hate to hear that again. Anyway, this is, uh, look at this. <laughs> look at this, who did this? Whoa, careful. At least I got rid of the bombs, but it's just like, man, you gotta... You gotta go click on this one. Oh, I guess also you have to go down the expert path. There we go. Alright, this is gonna be where I lose them down the fast bit. Oh, oh. Clean left. Alright, lean wherever, right? Oh, ah, okay, I missed one. I missed one. Darn, I was hoping I could get all 110. Almost there. Except we got another fast bit, so who knows. Dude, they stopped my timer now. They're just like, no, no, he's got it, he's got it, it's cool. Wow. Would you look at that little gear mode? You really did it, amazing. There you go. Thank you, my man. Uh, it's, it's not that tricky. Uh, oh, oh, I should have read what he said. I should have read what he said. Oh. Someone added in the comment. Someone added in the comment. What does the guy say? Well, maybe I'll just find out later in the stream. There you go. 112. I'm still- I'm only 57 minutes into the stream and there's only eight, 8 stars left. Maybe I'll give you a tease as to what's- what's to come. So, onwards and upwards. Eight more stars. Eight more opportunities to fail miserably. This was probably one that people hate. The Twisty Trials Galaxy. Ah. Uh, listen, the, at, at least the last one, the ball rolling one, it's like, yeah, it was, it was insane. Spinning and spinning and spinning. This one... Uh, they literally took a section from Super Mario Sunshine and... Slapped it into this game. Is it even the most iconic floodless level? Probably not. Wait, didn't they do this already? Not oh, this one bit. Who knows? I, ca I can't even remember the top of my head. Uh, but n yeah, not only not only do you get to have a spin to save you in this one compared to the floodless levels where you know. That, that physics messes you up. It's like, man, you even get the cloud. You get, you get like a, a saving grace power up. There's a lot of star bits around, I'll tell you that. Maybe it was this one I grinded. Especially because you could get to that one up and then you're set. Yeah, it was probably this one I grinded. Oh. Oh, did I really just spin twice? That's okay, because I got another one up. makes me think to myself, it's like Mario 64 had a, sorry, Mario Sunshine had a free camera, like the stick would rotate freely in the direction you were pointing, but then Mario 64 on this one, pressing the, you know, the directional button, uh, button just snaps the camera to a certain angle. Wasn't too great Mario 64, but in this one it's like, yeah, no, it works as it does. Really short level. Maybe that's the one that I would grind for more star bits. If I need to. Look at that, 112 and it's 112 down the bottom. A ghost has appeared, ooh. <laughs> I'll just say I'm doing this quick because I'm Luigi. Wow, a comet? So I guess, should I be saying some, some retrospects for this game? Some like, oh, you know, how have I felt about the game so far? But yeah, no, I've, I've definitely been enjoying it, like as a replay. I feel like I enjoy more of the levels. Like, I don't find I have too many dull levels. 
I think there's just more to talk about in this game, which is weird because I'm also playing through it maybe a little slower than the last one. Turning, turning, double time. That's right, they made it twice as fast. As long as they didn't put a time limit on it. Nope, it's just twice as fast. It feels more than twice as fast. And I believe they got rid of the cloud mushroom, so... Cloud flower, rather, sorry. My bad. Which makes you think some of these platforms weren't moving too quick to begin with, were they? Come on, man. Giving a checkpoint halfway. Now these platforms, I can guarantee I'm going to have the most trouble on, because I never liked them in, in <laughs> Sunshine! <laughs> I got a bit flung. I got a bit flung. That's okay, because if you die, you just pick up a lot of star bits and continue on. Seriously, what was that, like... 35 star bits, just right there? You got some extra lives to burn, 35 star bits per life, right there. these one-ups all over the place as well. Yep, definitely this is the quick start at level. Maybe I'd, maybe I'd farm this later because I know, I know I'm going to struggle hitting 2,000. This one is this, like there's only five stars including this one left before that galaxy, so... I do give you a couple of one-ups as well, which might be a lucrative thing to hold on to. This makes you think, man, there were more platforms than I remember, weren't there? It, it doesn't feel that bad, though. I like the background. Isn't that like taken straight out of the first game? Not Super Mario Brothers, but uh, Galaxy 1. Who knows? Well, that's good fun. Uh, but yeah, no, I've definitely been enjoying playing this game a lot more. I feel like it's... It, uh, I've said this probably a bunch of times. It's like, it, it gets that, you know, overshadowed by the first game. And I don't think it's sold as well as the first game. So I just think more people are probably going to remember more parts of the first game. But this one, you know, I, f I like... I warm to the level design a little more. Even if it is a little more linear, I feel like the variety is just there. They don't sit on one idea for as long as the first game. Um, the first game having to do like two comet or three comets for every one of the main levels, where one's always a purple coin, uh, and then it's like, well, you got like speed run ones or daredevil ones quite frequently. Who knows? Stone, Cyclone, Galaxy. Silver stars on the Cyclone. That is right. If you thought they literally took parts from the first game, well, now they definitely took parts from the first game. Except, it's going so fast, it's going absolutely ludicrous speed. Did you get the little, the little button? Oh. I, I completely misjudged that. I, I misjudged that so poorly. Um, I think I remember dying on this one a fair bit as a younger chap. That at least gives you the ability to line yourself up, up with the... A bit. And then, uh, get the heck out of dodge, because he's going to come down fast, isn't he? I think I remember trying to do this star without, like, slowing time. I don't trust myself as much, though. Oh, no, no, I'm not, I'm in, I'm in the cyclone, I'm in the cyclone, I'm in the cyclone, I'm going, I'm going in, I'm going in. Listen, can we at least say it's a lot harder than whatever the one in the last game was? This is a weird planet though, it's just bizarrely, like, distinct. Oh, but those platforms shrink fine. Oh, he's chasing. He's chasing. <laughs> Alright. Ride it. 
Oh. Oh, that's going to throw me off. Oh, I thought it come back in time. No. <laughs> so this, this is going to be where all the lives go. This one star, isn't it? Oh, there was a, there was a big star here. Someone with a yellow move from this in that one right away. Someone would yell at me for that as well. Okay, okay. Uh, but yeah, I feel like this game... It's the right kind of sequel. It's more of the same, without feeling like they are milking it too much, because there's a lot of ideas that, you know, they could have had, and they decided to go with in this one, and I'm like, yeah, that's, that's kind of neat. There we go. Now I gotta make... I gotta skedaddle. I gotta make the go. Oh, and I decided to not jump to the right platform again. Oh. Mamma mia. The worst part is that comment metal looks like pretty lucrative from here. But it's just like, oh, I don't trust like... Get into it. Oh, I... This is, this is not looking good. Are they going to Bronze Star me? Maybe they disabled Bronze Stars for this one. They're like, nah, man. You're a wild ass, bro. It'll get better. But, yeah, I, I think it is the right kind of sequel. And the best part as well is that it doesn't compromise on anything that made the first game, like, as good. It's got just as many, like, fun levels. Oh, this is risky. Someone's gonna really be wondering what the heck am I am I doing? And honestly, I'm asking myself that. Listen, my brain thought I could jump back. I think it's just this beginning bit as well that's like the, the tricky part for me. It's just like having to deal with like the these bits moving slowly. Maybe that's why I like running it fast. Oh. I'm 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 struggling so hard. I'm, I, well, I mean, you can tell, can't you? At least, at least you get the hundred star bits. You get a lot of stuff just by like looking down there, can't you? Maybe the trick is to use this and go forward. Well, <laughs> I got that far. Okay, I'm good, I'm good, I'm safe. I'm safe for the moment. Now we're gonna somehow not panic and die. Oh, oh. Alright. Oh. Uh. Alright, I'm good, I'm good. One up. Alright, now blocks come and chase me. Cool. Okay, cool. Except now I gotta keep going around because there's another silver star and I did not track which one his teeth are gonna run into. So I'm gonna hope that I can get to the next bit of platform before he crumbs and crushes me. Ah. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, this is a soft checkpoint. Okay, okay. <laughs> Alright, keeping it cool, keeping it cool. What's the other two solar stars? You gotta watch out for like the, the edge teeth as well. Alright, there's the solar star. And then the last one at the end. Okay, alright. All good, all good. All good. Phew! Uh, as long as these don't screw me over, which they, they do sometimes, like you jump on it and then just walk forward and you walk off the, the bit. Phew! Alright, first try. No issues. No issues at all. Oh boy. <laughs> oh gosh, if I'm having that much trouble on that star.
Oh boy. Just the last the last handful of stars are gonna be absolutely a treat. There we go. 115. Five more to go. Five more. But yeah, I like the game still looks great. And even to this day, I think it looks it looks really nice. Some people will probably, you know, point at the resolution. Hold up a sec. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna... <laughs> looks like that last guy was pretty rough. Good work toughening it out. You know, I just wanted you to remember that. We all really appreciate everything you're doing. You know, you're a big thanks for collecting all these power stars. Thanks, game. Appreciate it. Okay, so you may be wondering what's, what's the, the bit there, but... Uh, and on top of that, the music is just as good, if a little bit better. There's just so many nice, fun ideas, so... It's the perfect sequel, I find. And it's one that doesn't invalidate the last game, while also still being its own thing. Toy Box Speedrun, that's right. We decided to add a time limit to it. Are there Silver Stars? Hopefully not. I don't see any. I think it's supposed to get to the end. Maybe this is the one I used to run all the time. So instead of running forward, you just run this way, I guess. There we go. Look at that, half the level done, because I don't have to do the star bits. Sorry, the star bits, the, um, silver size. That's the one. I don't trust being able to jump all the way over there. <laughs> that feels a bit gutsy too far. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. That one, yeah, there we go. It's not as tricky as the Silver Stars one, in my opinion. Uh -huh. Also, I guess the mild thing of the star when the star is out, the clock stops every single time in this game. First game, it's just a couple of like small, small, you know, little bits that you're like, oh man, I wish it was a little better. And in this one, you know, everything is kind of ironed out. I don't think there's any part of this game that I could really go, yeah, that sucks. Apart from, you know, I wish there weren't Daredevil stars or um, speedrun stars that didn't do the clocks. I like the clock approach in this one. It just makes it so much better than it's the exact same thing. It's like, oh, you gotta do, you gotta get the clocks to, you know, not not die. So, okay, two more galaxies. Two more galaxies. Uh, the boss blitz galaxy. This is, uh, listen, okay, if, if Cyclone Slate was so obvious that it was taken from the first game. <coughs> Welcome to Throwback Throwdown, where we live through the five greatest bosses straight out of the first game. We literally will fight five bosses back to back. And they're all from the first game. Which is kind of interesting that they didn't even do any from the second game as part of this one. It even gets its own music as well. Well, I until you get to the boss game, you guys. Now I'm angry. Oh gosh, I'm going to be saying that a lot right now, aren't I? There's nothing really too too hefty about it. It's just it's Dino Piranha. He's the first boss from the first game. You hit his tail just like the first boss from this game. Pretty easy enough. Oh boy, how many times am I gonna have to fight Dino Piranha in this game? Quite a lot. Someone do a count total. Like yeah, if I, I understand. I love this song by the way. It's just. No, it's just. A... Lovely synth and that weird pizzicato that might not even be a real string orchestra. We'll just kind of edit it in. Here's King Caliente. As I, I still have no idea. I always think Toad's worth when I see him. Uh, also, yes, your ears do not deceive you. There is indeed uh, a, a comet medal just sitting right over here. And remember, all the comets only appear if you've got the comet medals, but they also half require the comet medals on. Uh, some of the galaxies that didn't have comets. Isn't that a weird one? But I, I like the idea of one comet. Like, that's it. That's the only comet that's going to be on any of those stars. And, I'm, you know, 
we're reaching the end of the game. We kind of have to acknowledge that by now, but... Oh, I keep forgetting, you can't... Whoop, get him! Whoops. I don't remember the drum. Oh, <laughs> oh, nearly clapped that one. There you go. Oh. It's kind of weird beating these bosses and it's just like, won't stop. But on to the next one. The next throwback <laughs> boss from the first game. It's not even every boss from the first game. Like, and, and I mean, obviously, we've done Bugaboom already, so we don't have to do him again. You even got to do this guy's preliminary bit where he decides to not respond to me. Cool. Oh, because it's going to go up. Got him in his fuzzy butt. And down he goes. It's a bit of a shame they don't, like, spice it up with some other, like, power-ups. Unlike the Bugaboom fight. Oh. Probably like the last, uh, the last game, I forgot when to take this guy out. Get him on the butt. Now I'm angry! Here he comes. Oh, oh. That's a second recharge. There you go. I think it's kind of weird that, like, uh, the first hit, the freebie hit, counts. Although I did, I did get hit during that. Everyone's favorite boss from the first game. Why, yes, I do love fighting Boulder guys. The worst part is that you remember when I was saying it was like, oh, yeah, like I remember one of these galaxies, it was a Daredevil coin, and one of these it was a speed run. Yeah, we've done the Daredevil. Having to do Boulder guys, at least you don't have to do Boulder guys in, in Daredevil mode. It's just a uh, speed run mode, which is uh, a little bit terrifying. It's in five. I don't know why I stopped before. But it does a time signature jump, so. Oh, the guys is such a great fight, though. It's a, it's a bit a uh, bit crazy. It's a bit like too much going on once he throws too many rocks and he's got his hands going about. But it's like it's it's a great boss because it's. It gets you, you know, going, oh, okay, he's he's really going to town. And then it's like, oh, I've got him on the ropes. There you go, I got him. And then suddenly, nah, man, spice it up. If anything, it's a Mario boss that doesn't follow the typical three-hit formula. Or the four-hit formula. Or the two-hit formula, as a handful of the bosses do. Like, yeah, he takes two hits, but... It's like, yeah, do this. Do it like a halfway, like, make him a bit tougher kind of thing. And not just, uh... Well, I guess I guess some a lot of the other ones get a bit tougher after a couple of hits. Miyamoto really likes his hand bosses, doesn't he? There's Eye Rock, there's uh, ones in Mario Odyssey, uh, there's Jabu Jabu. There's a lot of these out there, aren't there? Get him with it. Oh, alas. Oh, he's now gonna crush. Crush with one. Yeah. So on the on the topic of uh, because I know we're gonna be basically just seeing the same bosses. Oh. There you go. Not too bad. Um, on the topic of uh, I guess uh, new things. Uh, one conversation I saw that was kind of interesting was um. People were saying, oh, you know, people are trying to push six seventy dollar US games. Which is weird because it's been happening for a little bit. Uh like I'm I'm not saying it's I, I, I agree. I don't think seventy dollar games should exist now. Um if you convert that to Australian dollars, uh some of that has gotten to 115 Australian, which is the highest it's ever been for new games, except I think PS5 games did push $125. Uh also yeah, Fiery 
Dino Piranha gets to be boss number five. Like, I'm pretty sure. I'm very certain there's a, there's a boss we're missing here. Now, unfortunately, I remember having such a hard time on Fiery Dino Piranha in the last game. So hopefully I've learned my lesson. Now I'm angry. Except I'm Luigi, so I can outrun him. Never mind. It's a lot easier when you can outrun the, the tail. Isn't that weird? They did Fiery Dino Piranha as the last, like, boss in the game? At least in this game, none of the bosses ever, like, came back in some, like, weird way. They were exclusively in their galaxies. Even, um, like, the Bowser Jr. boss fights were pretty good. Didn't they, like, reuse one of them in the first game or something? I don't know. But here we go! Star number 117. Oh boy. And you know what's great? I gotta do another comment. Of this. And then I'm gonna get started. Oh boy. Oh, we're down at the bottom. I got another comet to do, man. A ghost has appeared. Ooh. Starship Mario can now advance. Yes, that's probably gonna be the last time you hear that. Looks like a green one followed you back. Don't see those fellas often. I bet he's got some interesting tales to tell. Why don't you go say hello? Listen, there's three stars left in the game and you're just casually going, Oh yes, there's another, another incidental person over here. Hi there, Mr. Green. Seeking the cosmic jewels, it's been our lifelong pursuit. There is a saying that they can be found when all of the stars have been collected. Ominous. Speaking of ominous, oh boy, the comet in here. They didn't even put the comet in here. Okay, well... Like, I don't have enough of the Hungry Luma, so uh, there's only one thing left to do, and that's, uh, we grinding, boys. We grinding. <laughs> Listen, it was a quick one, and there's like a hundred star bits on the way, so. Alright. Also, yeah, here's a ghost. Entering a star that you've been in before. After you've got the ghost. Luigi decides to do Luigi things. Can you follow Luigi and do the pro moves? Uh, maybe. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know, Luigi's kind of got a bit of a head start there. He's going. Oh. Uh, but yeah, no, I think I've probably touched upon the $70 US game argument before, and I feel like in the past I was, I was a bit more uh, sympathetic for the, the game developers. There is a degree of... Yeah, the games cost more, uh, but I think that's also the degree of like, well, the games also, you know, they try to use microtransactions and extra DLC, and obviously there's games out there where, you know, they take parts of the game and uh, gut them out for DLC purposes. There's, there's obviously bits of that, where it's like they tone down the scope of the game just to, you know, to sell it back later as DLC. You can still say, oh, but, you know, there is a full game that they did create, it's just, you know, it could have been a fuller game. Um, or at least, like, ideas that weren't quite flushed out. Uh, time to... Time to start new, because it's quicker to do this than to start the whole level again. And you keep the star bits. How many star bits do I need? Probably, like, a thousand. It's gonna be a couple of star bits, isn't it? At least you get nearly a hundred as well, so... I'm not, I'm not net losing lives yet. At least, as long as I don't casually just die on the way. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame the star bit totals didn't add up this time. I don't remember milking them in the last game. I think this one up actually keeps respawning, so never mind. I'm gonna have infinite one ups as well. Well, at least, at least the ability to get some star bits at the end of the game is here. The worst part is what you're going to see at the end of the stream as well. Um, but, yeah, like, I'm starting to get into the, the habit of going, okay, well the games are getting kind of expensive purely because developers are throwing too much. Uh, I think some people say there's indie games that compete with AAA games, which is not a lot. There's definitely some out there, but... There's not a lot. There's, a, there's quite a number of indie games that just 
don't quite have the potential. There's a lot of indie games that don't, you know, try to be a AAA scope either. There's a reason why, you know, not every film studio, for example, can make a film uh, as large as a... I'm, I'm gonna say a Marvel film. I, I, I've not watched many Marvel films. I'm just using it as an example of throw a lot of money at it and it generally makes a lot of returns, just casually. Um, but that's also not to say that there are not uh, smaller superhero films out there. It's not, you know, it doesn't rule you out. Just, you know, you gotta, you gotta have a bit going into it, so. Uh, but... Is that, the, is that the last one? No, there's six more. There we go. And now we're good. Down I go. Into the abyss. To re rinse and repeat it again, but with a little more, a little more gusto, again and again. Yeah, but, yeah, I don't, I don't know, like, the big AAA devs, like, I, I guess the other thing some people say is that, like, the money doesn't end up really in the developers, it's kind of, you know, uh, the, the big, the big uh, producers, the big publishers get to keep a lot of the money such that they can then sink it into developing, you know, developers for the next project, if they do pay them that much. Uh, and I'm kind of like, yeah, I mean, that money should be ending up in the developers' hands in some way if they're spending lots and lots of hours on, on the game. Ultimately, it's a bit of a thankless job being a game developer uh, at times. I know that there's some game developers out there where it's just like, you make so much money and... No, what, what am I saying? Like, there's a, there's a lot of... Uh, game developers out there that do get rewarded for their efforts pretty decently, I guess. But there's a lot where it's like, I don't know, it's a bit revolving door. Um, on, you know, the people who work on a game. Where it's just like, they work on a bit and then it's just like, Oh, they're asking for too much money as a, as an employee, quick. Kinda cycle them out. Cause it's cheaper to do that than to actually keep them on sometimes. Bit of a, bit of a shame, so... Uh, but yeah, I mean, ultimately, like... Given the cost of games, and it's weird saying that, like, okay, they skimp out on developer salaries and yet the cost of games still remains fairly high. I think it's because advertising is a little bit inefficient, and also there's a lot of development into um, effectively, like, market research, if that makes sense. Like, there's a lot of, you know, like, like Battlefield is not just making the same game over and over again, it's having a huge team of analysts determine that making the same game over and over again is the most, like, economic way to, to go forward. Um, there's a lot of that, and it's like, I don't know, man, you can, you can take some of the, some of the analytics work out of this, and it wouldn't be too bad. Uh, there's a fair bit that goes into engine work. Obviously, a lot of people try to reinvent the wheel by making the same game engines, but also, you know, there's a degree of, well, Unreal Engine doesn't quite suit everyone's purpose. Uh, sometimes Unity is what you need, or sometimes, uh, do people use the CryEngine? I don't know. Um, some people probably do. I think actually, yeah, the CryEngine moved to the same model as, um, the Unreal Engine, I believe. So, yeah, it's still out there. I know Valve actually, uh, they, they got a bit, uh, clammy on people using, uh, the Source Engine leaks. They've started sending some CNDs after some fan projects using them, so... Which is a, a little bit fair enough, but it's also like, eh, okay. You gotta protect your property, I guess. That's how copyright works. If you're not doing it, then, you know, a potentially really bad event can occur, and you don't have justification, apparently. Uh, but, yeah. But back to the $70, $115 games. I don't know, man, because I don't buy a lot of new games. I keep mentioning this every single time, but it's like, yeah, like, I'm glad picking up games way later because games are fairly elastic in price. You can dip the price by drastic amounts and get even more drastic returns, which makes me wonder, yeah, like, can't you release your trip? Oh my gosh, I actually just killed myself on that one instead of... Nice. But like, yeah, you may be wondering, yeah, can't you release your AAA game at $30? And the answer is, yes, you can. You can also release your AAA game with the multiplayer component for free. A la, uh, you know, 
Halo, you can release it on the Xbox Game Pass or on any other Game Pass service. Um, Nintendo's been doing that with their DLCs, they're providing them to, you know, online subscription people if you're paying the really kind of expensive, uh, expensive tier. But at the very least, it's like, you know, the more DLCs they chuck in, the more it sweetens the deal. Because then you don't have to buy those DLCs in order to play the content. Although, uh, I think if someone saw, uh, one of the, um, one of the DLC tracks that they poured from, I think, like, the 3DS Mario Kart, and it does, it looks so flat. It's just like, oh, it's such a shame that, like, they just effectively straight translated the track. They could be doing so much more. They could be doing so much better. But, alas, they didn't. So, uh, and then Nintendo hired that guy. Try and find the, the thread on that. that. That was a great, like, Twitter thread. The one guy just having, like, a joke rock and just going, like, nothing makes sense anymore in the world. Twitter is a wonderful place when these, like, random engagements, like, it's, it's the meeting of the minds. Twitter is everyone. And sometimes it's like the two right people for comedic genius just come along. Some guy says a thing, another guy immediately knows the exact best way to respond to it. it doesn't happen a lot of the time, but when it happens, it's neat. You never get that on any other website, unfortunately. So. Uh, but... Yeah, I... These games don't have to be that expensive. Actually, another interesting thing is when you look at it historically, because some people will go, Oh, but like, there were, um, SNES games that actually released for 70 US dollars. Um, and yeah, that is true. But also, I think in the same, like, what was it, a Toys R Us catalog, um, it was probably a late, like, catalog, because it's like, it was showing Donkey Kong Country 2, which was a fairly late game on the system. Like, the PlayStation was out by the time Donkey Kong Country 2 came out, I believe. Um, but it's like, yeah, like, yeah, you could buy the game for 60 bucks, but you could also buy the console for 130. The console itself was relatively inexpensive. Um, controllers were also fairly cheap as well. They were like, I, I saw some, like a SNES controller for 15 US in that catalog. Uh, I think there was a Saturn controller for 35. I'm like, yeah, sure. Cause like right now, like a Switch pair of Joy-Cons is 120 bucks. I think like an Xbox, uh, series controller is 110 Australian. Um, I, I, I keep jumping between Australian and American prices, sorry, but, um, what, how much is a pair of Joy-Cons in the US? It's like 80 US? That's a lot of money for effectively, like, I mean, there's more buttons on it than a SNES controller, but still, the whole point is, that's, you need another one to play with a second player. Or, or two more players if you're playing, um, you know, with a Joy-Con. Um, the console itself, like, a Switch costs... Uh, 470 Australian? Costs a bit. The PS5? 750 bucks? Like, yeah, it's cheaper compared to, um, some other consoles like, um, you know, it ain't a 3DO, it ain't a PS3. Uh, but, like, a lot of, like, Nintendo was fairly good at doing some inexpensive consoles. I think the N64 was a bit expensive when it came out. But still, it's like, they dipped. The console themselves, like, ended up being much less expensive throughout the course of the, the console's lifespan. Um, you kind of, like, when when consoles first came out, like, yeah, it's a bit hard to, like, go crazy and pick them up day one. Some people, a lot of people did. Uh, but, I don't know, like, the general affordability market and getting things frugally, the consoles ended up, you know, being cheaper pretty soon afterwards. Usually they do consoles that stripped out features. Um, that's, that was, that's, funny. that's what makes the SNES example kind of interesting, because it's like, you know, the SNES is the SNES. There was never, like, a second model of the SNES. It was just, that was it. Same thing with the Nintendo 64. It's like, every Nintendo 64 was a Nintendo 64. Maybe you had different color versions later on. But, even the GameCube, actually, they never did a special GameCube, really, did they? Again, colors, but, yeah. Um... PS1, I know you had the PS1, okay, the one that had the one at the end, it was a much more smaller rounded design and it lacked the reset button. I don't know why, they just got rid of it, but yeah, generally it was alright. But it also had the screen, that was a weird one. Um, but uh, on top of that, yeah, like, the consoles were a bit more inexpensive, but the, 
cartridges, like, never mind, you had the plastic and they had to effectively make, uh, you know, uh, an EEPROM, so a lot of them had like batteries or extra like code processors or a box or whatever and had memory controllers. There's a lot that goes into making um, a cartridge based game. Even the Switch, like, it's a bit of... Uh... Is 999 the max or did I just casually hit 999? I think I did just casually hit 999. Let's just... Oh, no, that is, that is indeed the max. Okay. How about let's, uh... Let's -a go, let's -a speed -a run another level there. This has been some gripping like video, hasn't it? At least the grinding doesn't take tons long, but it's like, man, you know. I would have appreciated that Hungry Luma was not there, because it was so perfect leading up to that. And then, boom. You know, just not enough starters. Alright, you get you lose one one mark, Super Mario Galaxy 2, because you've got a level that's obviously here, you know, it's, it's, it's paced well enough that it's like, yeah, you can grind it for lives and one-ups. That's the same thing, lives and sabids. Yeah. yeah, I don't think I have a... I, I don't think I had a thousand sabids ahead of time, so I'm just gonna hope that the boss blitz comet shows up. But yeah... Uh, when uh, disc space games started coming out, they did um, dip in price a little bit. Like, they still were closer to the $60. He's gonna say I died a lot, but that one was all intentional, baby. What's the comment? They ain't showing me the comment. Okay, we're doing it one more time. Because I need 2,000. Um, but yeah, the, um, like the disc space consoles, uh, did start going like 55, 54 I think was the price I saw for like PlayStation games, which was kind of neat. Um, I remember in Australia buying a uh, Super Mario Brothers Deluxe on the Game Boy Color. Well, I didn't buy it, but I got the price tag on it. It says $50 Australian. That was probably right about when the game came out. This would have been, what, 98? Makes sense. Um, but the... Uh, yeah, like the, the $60 price point of games, um, I guess the biggest difference now compared to back then is that so many more people buy games, so the returns are obviously there. Like the cost of producing games is so minimal now, especially when you've got digital distribution, you know, discs are just so easy to make, those plastic cases are all over the place, there's really not that much that goes into physically distributing games. That haven't been for ages, like the process is nailed down, and never mind also, yeah, people buying games digitally. You don't have to go through any of that. Literally have a server, make sure the server can handle people downloading a game, payment system, yeah, you're all set. That's why so many companies have their own websites and content distribution systems. It's really not that hard for companies to do it. Like, like uh, Good Old Games is a really interesting site just because CD Projekt wasn't even like that bigger company back when they were making that. I don't remember which came first, the original Witcher game or good old games, the website, but um, Nuclear Time. That's a sound effect you're not going to hear too often. Um, but, you know, I, that, that website does exactly as it should on the tin and they didn't need to do too much more. And there's a lot of other like e-commerce sites. Hey, looks like you found a hungry Luma. He is going to absolutely explode in a moment. I need 2,000 Starbits. And then after this, well, you don't need any of those Starbits anymore. I think they gave up on making the music a bit higher pitched though. I'm ready to transform! There it goes. Into space. That's the last Hungry Luma. A new galaxy was born. So here we are, the last galaxy of the game, the Flip Out Galaxy. This one, uh, I think the idea was reused in 3D World. Wicked Wall Jumps. And 3D World, like, I mean, we had Flip Switch, so this is Flip Out. This is, uh, 
gnarly platforming the level, basically. You're gonna look at it and you're gonna be like, oh boy. Starts off simple enough. You got these bunnies telling you that yes, you can spin. Uh, there is actually no more need for me to be collecting too many more star ones. I guess to show off the rest of the, the bank toad. I hope there wasn't a, a thing that, up there that I just completely glanced past, but sure. Yep, you gotta spin to win. You gotta flip the, the blocks. Make sure you're spinning at the right moments. I'm just kind of going at it. And we got these spiders, which are wonderful because they're not fun to jump on, but they're really easy to spin. And, uh... Well, I mean, if they're easy to spin, then it's gonna throw you off, isn't it? I, I looked and I was like, I can't spin that. I, I'm just gonna sail off into space. Okay. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. How about, let's save myself here and then... Let's use spin over here. The spikes are gonna, you know... Be the bane of everyone's existence. Oh, <laughs> oh! You really lost that one. Little spiders. Everyone likes the little spiders. You can tell this one's gonna gonna go. This is. Oh, I am slip sliding. That's a, one of the meanest Comet Medals, I think, in the whole game. Oh. I haven't yet really figured out. I haven't, I haven't, and I just jumped on the spikes. Alright. Oh! I don't know why my brain was going like, oh, I can get that right now. Ah, oh, man. Like, you, you see how it is. I don't like these little arches. Whoop. Whoop. Let's, uh, wait a moment. There we go. Alright. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Alright. Up. 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 Alright, uh, now, you flip out the blue. That is just pain. That is just pain. Oh, oh. Alright, you flip out the red. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Alright, you flip out the red, and then. Oh, oh. And you go for the long jump, and then you spin at the end, and then, uh, there you go. Listen, that's the last Comet Medal in the game. Oh, that's the last Comet Medal in the game. They're gonna be a little, little tricky on that one. Oh, I did it again. I did it again. Now all I gotta do is not die. I like this fun, like, bit at the end where you gotta effectively keep flipping right at the top. There you go. Nice and easy. Nice and good fun. What a wonderful star. And here we go. Star 118. There are two comets left and I wonder if the game is just gonna... I don't know if the game, like, constantly checks your comets. I feel like it should have given me one for boss blitz, but, nah, yeah, it's okay. I'll definitely do it now. There we go. A comet medal. And the ghost has appeared. Wow. I got some star bits. Wow. Are we doing boss bots? We're doing boss bots. Oh boy. Yeah, no, this game's been good fun. This game's been good fun. I'm gonna <laughs> miss it. I'm gonna definitely miss it. I'll tell you that. Yeah, we got an exciting, I guess, yeah, we can few things ahead, so, who knows. I don't even know what game I'm gonna play next, I'll tell you that. 
throwback throwdown speedrun. That's right, they decided, well, if you love these bosses so much, do it twice. And faster this time. And this one's gonna be a bit pain because, uh, you're not good at doing some of these fast. What are you good at doing that? I think time starts immediately. Yep. Five minutes. You gotta do five minutes to fight five bosses. Although, Dino Prana is not too bad. It's, um... Bosses 3 and 4. It's, uh... Mad Mouser? What was his name called? Now I'm angry! I forgot what the guy's name was, the... The Monty Mouser. Oh. oh. I knew I was gonna have it there. There you go. What was that? Eight seconds? Didn't the, um... Original Dino Piranha level, like, you had to do the... Like, the speedrun as well? It's like the same thing. It's King Caliente, yet again! Nice. Coming at you with the Hot Rocks. Oof. Also, didn't they do King Caliente twice as well? So what is this, the fourth time I'm fighting King Caliente? Like they changed the platforms and he rebounded the first hit like pretty quick. Now I'm angry! I think when I played the first Galaxy, I don't think any of the Now I'm Angry effects actually worked in the uh, Dolphin, but now well, they do. Maybe I had a setting wrong or something. Okay, four minutes, 15 to go. You know, you know I'm going to lose it all on the next two. I do remember having like a fair bit of trouble on like just getting this one under time, but... Okay. He's mowing along, he's mowing along. There he is. And his time is forbidden, apparently. Here he comes. What is he called? He's called Major Mole or something, isn't he? Something like that. Now I'm angry! Uh, here it comes again. Here it comes again. Pound, pound, and here it comes. And run after him. Again, it's probably a little easier as Luigi. Just that extra speed you get. It just makes a bunch of these fights a little easier. Alright, I got 3 minutes 30. So now to lose it all in Boulder Guys. At the very least, you get coins and you can, you know, you get 3 hits. It's not a time limit dead of a run as well. But it is, uh, it is indeed the same bosses. This is boss number... This is, this is time number 4 I fought Boulder Guys. Did I hit him twice? Like I said, did that count as two hits? He looks too damaged, so that actually might have been two hits. I accept it. Yeah, okay, I'll take it. Oh. So yeah, this is where I lose all my time if I'm not good at Boulder Guys. I feel like I did him in a good amount of time last time. Just gonna say time. Constantly. You ever have like those words and you just keep like thinking you're saying them over and over? I used to be like that with the word actually. Oh, one bomb. I wish I had two. There were two last time. Uh, one bomb, and again. Oh, cool, cool. This is where all the time gets lost. This is where all the time gets lost. Because he's not throwing more bombs. Maybe this is why they didn't have speedrun all the guys in the first game. There you go, that's two hits though. That's two hits. 
As long as I don't screw up the uh, ending part, that is. You know, where he, where he goes out and you don't get to hit him in time. Oh, he's going, he's going the wrong way. I hate, I hate Boulder Guy's sequence here though, where like, he makes the rocks, he does the punch, and then his other hand comes back before, like, you know, you're even ready. Oh my, oh. Okay, okay. <laughs> I was like, uh, did I just lose both ghosts like that? There you go. Okay, what, what is that, 1 minute 10 to do fiery dino prana? That's not too bad, that's doable. Well, it's, it, it was 1 minute 10. And now it's 1 minute. They really cut it fine, don't they? They really cut it fine. Alright, here we go, here we go. Okay, alright, that's one hit, three more to go. Oh boy. I'm on the edge of my seat. Oh, cool. Ah, no. That's okay, that's okay. There's a bit of wiggle room, as long as I don't die as well. Now I'm angry. Go. Be a little cautious. A little cautious, but. Oh. There you go. All good in the hood. There you go. These bosses that you've seen a bajillion times already. They're finally defeated. Forever. And ever. There you go. To the star. Yeah, that's right, the speedrun was literally the same thing, but just a little bit faster. Oh well. Oh well. Is there a Mario game that doesn't have repeated elements like that? Like, I mean, in Mario 64, you just gotta do all the 100 coins. You know? At least they don't have 100 coins in this game. Some Sometimes purple coins, but very rarely. Okay, one last comet, and... We can finally see what is our reward for getting every single star in the game. So flip out Galaxy's Comet. The prankster comet. The comet that pranks. I'm kind of amazed as well that the stream length has started to get towards two, two hours again. Cosmic Clone Wall Jumpers. Nothing too fancy, just gonna throw you off. I think it's the whole level. Yeah, it is the whole level again. Oh, that was just a one-up up there. I, I like, briefly panicked the first, like, when I did this level first, uh, before. Just because I was like, oh no, there's the Comet Metal up there. Like, I just went into the pipe immediately without even acknowledging that there was a one-up up there. But no, it's all good. So you get Cosmic Clones! Which sounds not too bad, but it's like, yeah, if you... If you're not constantly moving forward, like if you're waiting for things like spikes, yeah, that's gonna be good fun, but we're not there yet. There we go. Again, there's a checkpoint. I think the other thing is that these guys like pop out sometimes. Like that, you know, you're trying to jump like up through a platform and they just can't- oh. That's gonna be- that's gonna get a bit awkward because I got to spin as well. There we go. All good. All good. Another checkpoint, another checkpoint. Get him in the face. Alright. Cool. Oh. This is gonna be fun. Ah! Oh, I was like, oh, I gotta wait for the next set of spikes because I jumped on just at the last moment. That's okay because checkpoints in my comet medals, my comet stars. Think about it. If you died at any point in the boss blitz, oh boy. Okay, let's go. Oh. 
Shh, down I go. Down. I'm, I'm out. I'm gone. See ya. Rock and roll, rock and roll. Rock and roll McDonald's. I like how that flows. Like, it seems to work quite nicely with the Cosmic Clones still being there. This whole level flows really nicely. Like, even with the Cosmic Clones all over the place. Except for that. That's the one bit that gets me a little concerned. No! Did I really catch <laughs> I really snagged the corner. Once you snag the corner, you can't, you can't spin. Ah, oh. Pain. Pain internal. Listen, it's the last star. It's gotta be, you know, good fun. Oh. That's good. That's good. Alright. There you go, first try. Yeah, you could've you could have waited for the cosmic clones, but you know, what do you need Star Wars for? Here we are! Star 120. The game is complete. There we go. And because it's Star 120, we get to be on the bottom. Cosmic Clone, Wall Jumpers, 120. Galaxy complete, a ghost has appeared, why not? There you go. Whoa, another green one? Those are really rare. I am, I'm just speechless. Wow, nice work. Looks like he has something he needs to talk to you about. Okay, okay, What's? what are we in for? Uh, oh, where's he gone? There he is. Even if we have every power star, you still must defeat that monster. We'll never see the cosmic jewels. That's right. I've got to beat Bowser again. Listen, it's tradition at this point, but it's still just like, oh, why do you have to do that? Why do you, why do you have to make me fight Bowser again? So we're fighting Bowser again. And the worst part, I already did this level of the stream, so but that's okay. To Bowser's Galaxy Generator. Bowser's Fortified Fortress. Yada yada yada, you've seen this level already, let's do it quick. And I'm doing as Luigi is this time, so this is that. Go get him, he says. Did you like how it was uh, two boomerang bros in the uh the speedrun version? Just an interesting, like, you know, change. I'm not too sure why. He's doing rain grows later in the level. Who knows? I, I always wonder why there's, like, a lot of differences between the speedrun versions. Not a lot, but, you know, when there's differences, it's like, why? Why are there differences? They're making it harder. Oh. Down I go. It's all good. Speedrun. Speedrun. <laughs> Also, the planet fall down, and there we are. Oh, I gotta deal with these guys again. I'm pretty sure you could just drop the you could drop the drill and probably have this like part down pat. With just like some long jumps. Like here, it's like, come on. You could, you could just... If you could long jump, because you weren't holding the, the bit, you could do that easy. Die, Dry Bones. I don't remember the Dry Bones being there uh, in the speedrun version. Oh! That is... 
that is severely compromised, that part. Okay. That's okay. Just, uh, ugh. Fireballs. Not yum. That's cool, because I can just get this. Look at that. Six. Six hearts. Also, no bullet bills entirely. No Banzai bills, no nothing. He's not hungry. He's hungry to send me away. And I just checked a star on that one star. Do I still have my leftover star? I don't think you can skip all that with a... I guess I would have had one cloud. Now I have no clouds. I like how you can see the ending over there. Away we go! I, I love getting to like, just trip over that. Oh! There she is in the hot zone. Oh, and Yoshi is completely gone. He's gone for the, gone for the count there. Walls are expanding out, so no time to crush me in now. There we go. Alright, purple brick road and then victory lane. We fight Bowser once more. There's another blog. But yeah, what what other exciting things are happening in June? Oh yeah, also there's uh, what is it? Nvidia uh, planning to release at 16:30 this month, sometime this month. It was apparently supposed to come out at the end of last month. Uh, not too sure why they missed the the, the window on that one, but uh, that's okay. But yeah, no, more graphics cards in the hands of people. Also with a Probably the, what is it, the 4090 is going to be the, the first one of the next gen. Not even the 4080, it's like, nah, just go full on. Uh, that's planned for October, which, when you think about it, October is pretty close. I mean, we're already in June, so that's four to five months away, which is, well, I guess that's a third of a year at least. A year is a long time. But I mean, if you think about it, I started to get back into doing YouTube content and streaming and all that stuff. Uh, was it November 2020? It's June. It's been a year and a half. I've been trying to keep it up. I feel like I've been doing alright. I've been playing mostly games that I played already on the channel, but never exactly finished. So I'm trying to th figure out, like, yeah, what remaining ones are there? There's Warrior Land 3 and 4. Give it up already. I already said this last time, so I'm not doing it. There's Peach again. Alright, so yada 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 yada. I have ruined all the climax by just going, yep, oh, nope, oh, you've seen this right. It is the same ending as last stream though, isn't it? You can you can forgive me on that one. He really likes punching the ground, doesn't he? I shall now call upon the mighty media. Cool, cool. I accidentally slid a bit too far and then my ground pound wasn't lined up, so... Darn. Give me more meteors, will you? Yeah. There you go, one hit down, 18 to go. But, yeah, no, I can't think of really any other games I've never finished on the channel. There's a, there's a handful of, like, some of the other ones. Uh, if anyone remembers, uh, I still have them on my channel. Uh, Picross 3D. And, uh, Picross DS while we're at it. And, uh, 
Was it Master of Illusion? Master of Illusion's one that, like, that's gonna be so difficult to, to stream. I could do it with a camera setup, maybe, but... I don't know. Like, if I, if I were to do that one, I'd have to do it, like, in a very, like, good way. And that's a game that's unfortunately, like... Almost... Oh, computer... Computer moment. Windows moment. Windows has... Okay, real talk. Windows, for the past, like, two weeks, has been pinning a CPU core, um... On the search indexer. I don't know what it's indexing, but it's, it's doing something. It's just absolutely going ham on that. It's weird. And I'm, I'm still on Windows 10, by the way. I'm, I'm, I'm a stout... Uh, not defender of Windows 10. I do, I do defend Windows 10. Some people actually hate on just Windows in general. I'm like, I don't know. There's a lot of things you can do about it. But it's like, oh, Windows 11, I cannot get used to the taskbar. Someone's got a replacement one, and it's like, well, I mean, it's a replacement one. But I might as well use the replacement one when I have a need for Windows 11 at all. I currently, you know, everything seems to work fine on Windows 10, and I don't know, it just doesn't doesn't scream out to me at the moment. So I'll rock Windows 10 until really, really that bounced off a shell. That bounced off a shell. Excuse me. Bowser's decided to give me the toasty, the toasty roasty. I... I don't... Oh. There you go. Headshot that time. Yada yada yada. I pick up the star. Here comes Bowser. Yada yada. Now I'm fallen. Okay, I'm not gonna hit Bowser with that kind of... That kind of aim. Oh. Let's see if I can get him with some good snipes. Because you totally can. He doesn't have to get too close. Oh. There you go. Now I can't skip it because that's the end of the game. Again! Oh, my power is gone. Oh, I'm going to kick. Uh, yeah, no, there's... Uh, I can't really think of any others. Someone's gonna be upset. I don't have. I like. I actually lost the golden sun save. I cannot believe it. I can't. I can't believe I had lost the golden sun save. Like the one from the stream. So I've effectively got to recreate playing the game again, which shouldn't be the worst, especially if you can speed up and emulate this space. But it's like, ah. Oh. Oh. But yeah, if I was to play the Golden Sun sequel, it's like, no, nope, you gotta, you gotta have that save. Was there a password? No, no, I gotta, I gotta have that save going, so. Uh, there's that. Um, you know, I can't really think of any others. I can think of, like, some other games where it's like, uh, you know, maybe it's been forever since I last played them, but. I don't know, some people would probably like to see me play some newer games. So, who knows? The grand star, it's not that grand right now because I picked it up before, but sure, okay. Oh. Ah, it's so beautiful, isn't it? It's the same comet from before, we've been through this already. Wow. Also, I guess it's Luigi this time, so... But, yeah, no, it's, it's, uh, it's the same dialogue. Listen, it, they could have learned from the first game by not having you repeat the end of the game. Or at the very least, like, not having to beat Bowser before you get 120. Like Mario 64 or Mario Sunshine, at least, at least you didn't have to fight the final boss until... Until you're all good, but nope. Gotta do it twice. People have seen this already. Yes. Yes. I am very, very sure. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. you know, I am. I'm. I'm curious off the top of my head, what I would play next. Unfortunately, it cannot be Earthbound. You know one thing. I I didn't even realize like way back in the day. I had a video going. Why I can't let's play Mother. Slash Earthbound, I, no, I think it was just Mother 1, that's what I called it. Um, 
And I think I complained that the game was entirely in Japanese, first of all. Um, even though there was Earthbound Zero, there was the fan translation. Um, and, then, uh, and now we're in a stage where there's a real English release of Earthbound Zero. Whoop. There you go. Um, and then, like, I don't remember what my other cases were, but it's just like... I think it was purely because I had it as a recommendation. I had a guy with an Earthbound avatar just recommend Earthbound. I was like, oh, I've heard of Earthbound. It's the guy from Super Smash Brothers. Which, as as someone who never had an Earthbound game released in uh, their country until 2014. Yeah, fair enough. Fair point. Um, well, fair point to old me. Uh, um, but yeah, I, I don't trust playing it just because I don't want to go through the whole Sony Music Entertainment kerfuffle again. That was a fun sh shaboodle. Kerfuffle. Um, shenanigan. And we get to listen to some credit music yet again. But no, it's been good playing this game again. Super Mario Galaxy 2. And, uh... You know, I, I really enjoyed playing it. I really, um... Like, I, I feel like, yeah, it's just a superior sequel. Um, but not one that makes the first game bad. It's one where it's definitely worth playing both. Like, two peas in a pod. It's like your, your Okamori Time and your Majora's Mask. You can definitely find some more joy in Majora's Mask. Gets rid of some of the some of the fat. And uh, provides a bit of a different take. Although, I guess this is... This would be like if Ocarina of Time came out first, you know? It would be like, uh, some people would prefer the, the trailblazing one. Stuff you, level design. No, I can't. I can't jump off. No spinning, because you don't have the Luma on your side. I love these birds. These birds are cool. Uh, but, yeah, nah. It's good fun, so. Yeah, I'm curious what I'll play next. Ah, but they've given you the bee. So now I can fly away. And then I shall stay being the bee forever. Although I shall push the snowball into the camera. I shall go to space. There we go. That's kind of good fun that they give you the bee during the credits this time around. I don't know if they give you that because you're Luigi or because this is the second time I've been in the game now. Who knows? I'm not getting on Yoshi because I'm a bee. I'm going to space. See you all later. Oh, there is indeed poop over there. There is poop over there. I shall still go, go to space. This is kind of good fun being on a tiny planet like this and using the bee. I'm technically fairly far away. There you go. Look at that. Wonderful lap. There you go. Oh, okay. I was like, can I get to the green one? Who knows? I'm still a bee. Bowser, can you do this? There you go. I feel like my uh, my commentary has gotten very, very numb, doing the same thing again and again. I've already been through my uh, my uh, dot points. I wanted to talk about a uh, seventy dollar video games and the uh, upcoming E3 stuff. I guess that's the question. What do we expect for E3? Do I do I show reaction videos of reacting to things? I'm never the biggest fan of reaction videos. I kind of like the I. Like doing a bit of a curated edit. Oh. I'm coming back. Oh, the camera's gone very far. I'm, I, I'm not be, I'm gonna be able to catch it, so. The end! Again. Again, again. Thank you for playing my game. It was Luigi's game this time. 
granted, I feel like I played as Luigi for what, like 30 of the stars? Definitely the whole last, last stream, but... this chump who stole Luigi's hat. I had a wonderful adventure. Ah, oh, good. Everyone's together now. <laughs> Next, let's hear a story about the jewels of the cosmos. Let me tell you the story of the green stars. So. This is a story from long, long ago. Prankster comets have appeared, and the game has been saved. You may be going, huh? what? You just got 120 stars. Excuse me? And yes, you can click the game. The green star challenge is on. Uh, <laughs> this is the point of the game that people start going, eh, you've really done it now. Prankster comets are swarming all over the universe. See for yourself. You the, yeah, legit people, like, stop counting the game at this point, which is kind of interesting, but what happens is every galaxy now has green star pranks to comets all over it. That means, I'm not even joking, if you've never played this game before, well, Ayo, did you see that? Those pranks comments were green. That means there are green stars around now. Those must be the cosmic jewels I keep hearing about. Those green stars are pretty hard to find, so keep your eyes and ears peeled. Take it away, Captain. Uh, I shall, I shall get one of these, just to demonstrate ahead of time. And then, oh boy. But yes, every single galaxy doubles the number of stars it has. If it had three stars, it now has six. If it had Two, it now has four. They're all titled Green Star One. The the letterboxing for some odd reason is green. I don't know why. But the level is the level. It is still it's the same old level. The only thing that they did it's it's actually the exact same. The only thing they did is that they've slammed a green star in the level. Find the green star, and it's yours. You can hear some sparkly goodness in places. The monster got away. I heard some sparkly goodness. Now the green stars, you're pretty much gonna be Luigi because you're not gonna be able to find them otherwise. For example, you're hearing it. I'm, I'm definitely hearing it. I'm not seeing it though. Oh, there it is. You can, you can see the shadow going on there. And there it is. It's just there. So these green stars, you can definitely pick them up a lot quicker than you can the regular stars. Because they're all over the place. Uh, but the only thing that really guides you as to where they are is hearing them and... Uh, at least picking the star from the menu gets the right star. So you know you're on the right track. But yeah. I, I, I'm here to let you know, yep. I might not have figured out the next game to play, but I can certainly guarantee there's a few more streams ahead of time. Uh, what I want to do is at least figure out how many streams will it be. I'm planning for three or four. I'm definitely thinking, eh, it's probably going to be quicker. But I don't know if it'll be, uh, you know, like 30 stars a stream or 40 stars a stream. It's going to be, it's going to be quick fire, rapid fire. So there we go. I don't need to do a retrospective. I've done enough retrospectives. Pete Bowser, gotten every star. And now you get to go to this screen and go, ah, okay. All these silver crowns are for nothing because there's so many extra stars now. And yes, there is still one cheeky little galaxy lying at the end of this whole ordeal. So, until then, I would like to thank you all so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this stream, uh, you can like it on YouTube where you will see a counter go up by one. Or you could dislike it where you don't see a counter go up by one. Uh, you can subscribe, you can follow, you can do things like that, uh, and that's about it. That's all you can do. Um, I don't know. You can watch more of the streams if you want. I got all the VODs are up. 
thingy. I am so tired right now. It's the cold weather. It's the fact I've had that heater off for two hours. I've been spilling out hot air on my mouth for two hours. Oh, my boy, I tell you, I am so tired. I'm so tired. How does this happen? Who knows? Hope you all rug up. Stay warm during this cold winter, apparently. And it's, it's Australian cold. It's like, we'll go like, oh, what? Like, 13 degrees? That's not too bad. Celsius. It's like, oh, that's not too bad. But for me, for me, man, I'm freezing. I'm used to the 38 degree freaking, you know, temperatures. I would like, I'd like some warmth. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so yeah, stay safe, eat your greens, don't stay up too late, and especially uh, have some warm chalky milk from time to time. All right, have a good one, everyone.